Today is my birthday. Turned 29 years old. Like every age after 21 or 22, I feel exactly the same. As far as like, my body's still functioning. <laughs> I'm in a place where I can just sit and enjoy the moment and not be worrying about other things that haven't yet happened. It's the best it's ever been for me. And that's it. A while back, I made a video talking about my car and how everything was falling to pieces with this thing, and I was just stuck. In this particular case, you guys sort of ignored my plea to not help me pay for this. Um, I'm really thankful that you ignored me, because I really needed the help, and I did not want to ask for it. Um, I would have rather, at that time, had suffered, and I'd probably still be dealing with the financial issues of it right now, had I not had help. Um, Olin helped me out, you guys helped me out. There was one particularly large donation uh, from this band uh, that I mentioned forever ago in one of my earliest videos on this channel, called The Country Together, that donated $600. That was money that they had from album sales and stuff. I, I still, I still don't really know what to say other than just thank you. Publicly thank you. Um, and everyone who donated, I mean it was, there were so many of you who came together and donated. I'm just, I'm very thankful. I'm in a very healthy financial place now because of your help. The book's coming along. Olin and I have been doing a fair bit of writing pretty much every day, making a lot of good progress, uh, not just words on the page, but I feel very confident about the latest chapters that we've been writing and all the characters have sort of taken on their own voice. But I said to Ben, I feel like every time I go to the page, I feel like, I feel like I'm a lawyer and I'm making my case to the judge and jury, but I'm also the judge and jury. So I'm going to make my case like, hey, no, I'm a good writer. Like, this is good. But I'm making it to myself, judge and jury, and I'm like, nah, you can't fool me. So I can't just move on from a page knowing, no, it's not very good. It, it has to at least be workable. It has to, I don't want to walk away from a page ashamed. So, as a lawyer, and a judge and a jury, I feel like the way that Olin and I have been collaborating on this, I feel like we've made our case. And that makes me feel really good, that we're not writing something awful, that we're actually writing something really compelling and really fun, and the characters are engaging. And lastly, and certainly most importantly, uh, there is now a lady in my life, and it's not September, or another animal of any kind. It's a human girl. <laughs> uh, her name is Brayden, and she's really great. Uh, we've known each other for like three and a half years, something like that. We met on the internet. Uh, but she'll be moving here to Nashville in about 11 months, something like that, either December of this year or January of 2017. She's got uh, an internship at Disney and a final semester of college to finish up, and then she'll be here, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, yeah, so things are really good right now. I just thought it was important to make this video because I feel like I've given off the impression that my normal disposition is to be sad or depressed, but that's not the case. I'm mostly very happy, uh, especially over the last six months to a year. It's just everything's been really good. Uh, whenever I talk about something heavy, uh, something that's on my heart, it's because it's a thing that I'm thinking about. It doesn't mean that I'm depressed or that I'm sad or that I'm looking for advice. That's, that's not why I make these. It's okay to feel sad every now and then. It's okay to be depressed. Um, 
And it's certainly okay to be happy. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm very happy, and I'm okay with it. And I think that's it for me, guys. I'll see you later.